This is a program of the events that you will see on our stage. Twelve acts alive. Those continuously, so when you go in, stay till you see the same act that was working when you went in, and then you see it a second time, you know you've seen the whole show. And if you do that, you'll see everything that's advertised and even more. Here today, from Sao Paulo, Brazil, Rosita Rodriguez, a woman who has growing on her body the same kind of rough, tough, scaly skin that grows on the body of this snake. You're going to see the queen of kerosene drinking, burning gasoline, like you and I would enjoy an iced tea. And the world's champion sword swallower, John Stewart, to entertain. Tristan is a man who puts a steel fish hook in his tongue and lifts heavy weights with that hook embedded in his tongue, while Volterra, the woman that's immune to electric shock, will light lights from her fingers and a light globe from her nose. And then today you're going to be entertained by the human blockhead driving nails into his head with a hammer. Logan, the rubber man whose skin stretches like rubber. And you're going to see as pictured on the third painting from Santa Rosa, Costa Rica, Miss Vicky Condor, the only woman in the world alive with four legs, four feet, 20 toes, and she's going to dance for you. A sight to behold is Unique Monique from Hamburg, Germany, pictured on that first painting, and ladies and gentlemen, she looks just like that picture. A woman alive who does visibly not have any head at all, and when you see her today, it is a sight to behold. But the strangest of them all is a 17-year-old high school girl from Red Wing, Minnesota. Her name is Angela Perez. Angela has a normal head and an absolutely beautiful face, but that is all that's beautiful and normal about her. Because from the neck down, she has a body that looks like a tarantula spider. It's not pretty, it's not nice. When you look at her, it may shock you, but you'll never forget the spider girl and friends if you have questions about her, ask her, because she loves to talk to people, and she'll be glad to answer your questions. Now, Booba, are you ready to eat the fire? Okay. While Booba is eating the fire, at this time, I would like to introduce to you the star of our show. In an act known as Zorin and Ngavi, it is the most sensational, daring, outrageous, and the most dangerous act ever presented at the Minnesota State Fair in its long history. This young lady, Zorina, is going to step into a steel barred, iron bound, electrified cage. And when the door is once locked, she will undergo a transformation caused by self-hypnosis in which her entire personality and her physical being will change. First, you will see her eyes sink back into her head. You will see the color of her complexion change to a different hue. And starting at the ankles, you will see long, shaggy black hair growing all over her body and her head. And within 30 seconds, my friends, this woman, as you see her here, will no longer exist because in her place, you are going to see a giant 400 pound male vicious African gorilla. And when I say vicious, that's what I mean. And that's why this act must be presented within that cage. Because if that gorilla ever gets out, we'll all get out. At this time, Zarina is going to retire because she has to get mentally prepared for her uh, transition. Right now, uh, watch the little man eat the fire. And this is a big show. There's only one small part of it, and that's the price of admission. If I was to ask you 10 tickets, believe me, it's worth that. That's not what we have. It's our show, 12 big acts all alive, and it's only six tickets to see the entire show. If you have your tickets, you bring them to our ticket taker right over here. If you do not have tickets, they sell them at the ticket booth right behind you over there. And now, watch the little man, and watch the young lady's neck. 
Hold it full bar. Watch your neck. One, two, three. Pull the rope right through without untying the knot. Now here he goes. Down the hatch without a scratch. Good to the last fight. And now it's showtime, so come right in. They're ready to entertain you right now. There's no waiting. The show is going on. They look right in the doorway. I just... Oh, look, look! There's the giant man standing up. The Viking giant from Retrovac, Iceland. He is so tall, standing erect, his head nearly touches the top of that high tent. When you go in there, stand right beside the giant. Compare your height to a man over eight feet tall. Probably the tallest human who ever walked on this earth. He's in there now. Bring your camera. Take a picture of yourself standing by the giant. And you can have a picture of yourself with the giant to show your friends at home what you saw here at the fair. It's a big show and it's going on all the time. Right now, entertaining on the stage. What? What's that? Oh yes, I see. Thank you. I have just been informed that the headless woman is awake now. And that means because Olga is awake, if you wish, you can go in there and shake hands with a woman alive who does not have any head at all. Just walk up to her stage, extend your hand out to her, and she, in turn, will reach out to you. Now, she can't see you, she can't hear you, she has no head, but she will let you grasp her hand, shake her hand, and when you feel her flush, you're going to know beyond any doubt, this is a real human woman alive, even though she doesn't seem to have a head. It's showtime. Come right in. Only six coupons, six tickets. Give the tickets to the gentleman there. If you need tickets, they sell them at the ticket booth right there.